What's up, you guys, here at CRS 2023, day one. I'm Percy Krause here, Brandon behind the scenes, and we have the up, the next up now artist with CMT, Taylor Holder here. What's up? What's Good morning. On? Good morning. He said he's fresh out of coffee in his system, but he is with us today here at the Backstage Pass. We're celebrating a lot of things for you. This is like, you're popping off here. And I'm we're trying, so I'm excited trying. to have you here today on the Backstage Pass. We're celebrating Mary, you, and uh, the acoustic version is coming out. Yes, ma'am. That's yes, coming out. Dropping out very soon. We don't have the just yet, actually, but it is dropping very, very soon. So. But right now on the CMT charts, we're number 24. I am. That is killer. It's awesome. It's <laughs> What do you do to celebrate all the stuff these days? It's so funny because like I don't do much because I don't drink. I don't ever like really party or anything like that. So I'm just like it's just, just a little gathering at my house and just close friends. And just, Are you like, an ice cream person? Is that I your version of partying? I, yeah, ice cream and some like brownies or something like that. That's it. Awesome. Yeah. Well, it's this is wonderful to have you today, and we just absolutely love your single. Brandon's been talking about it, and so I uh, was we we're very happy to have you on as well. So the acoustic version is coming out. When are we expecting that? Um, I think we're June? looking in like the next a couple weeks, yeah. Oh, in a couple yeah, weeks? It's really soon. It's, Holy cow, uh, guys. 24th, is it going to be? Oh, I guess we do have this. 24th. March 24th. And, uh, yeah, March 24th. And, um, yeah, right after that, we got, uh, we're working on a cool project, actually. That's, uh, no one really knows about something first year about it, but. Uh, we love any dish that artists are willing to give us here on the backstage pass, because yep. we're called the backstage oh, pass. Oh, 100%. So, next up now, artists, what does that feel like when you found out? CMT. It doesn't. All this stuff is so, is so like foreign at the same. Like it doesn't feel real. It's like it's like it's, it's all happening so fast and like everything's like moving so well. It's the greatest show in the world. Is what I want to do forever. Exactly. You know? Okay. Back up. Back up. Tell me about growing up, Taylor, and like what that was like. When did you first fall in love with music? Who were you listening to? Who inspired you? Yeah, yeah, of course. So I grew up in a super small town, like right outside of Dallas, Fort Worth area. It's called Alvarado, Texas. Yeah, Texas, and representing. There's like a couple thousand people in my town. Like it's not very big at well, all. And, um, a couple satellites. Yeah, it, not very. We just, we just like not too long ago, eventually got like a McDonald's and a Taco Bell and all that stuff. Like, right. it's, it, we're, we're getting, we're getting there. We're expanding. But um, yeah, I grew up just like uh, every other kid. I was like a big like adrenaline junkie kid, and I was doing every sport growing up. I started riding dirt bikes. Dirt bikes I, the minute you said that, I pictured dirt bikes. Yeah, I was. Uh, so I've been. I used, to, I used to race like my whole life since I was three years old. So uh, and all that, and then um, I, I I started listening to music. I was probably say when I was like fourteen or fifteen. Um, in that era, we were listening to like a lot of like I was listening to like a lot of like, Justin Bieber stuff, obviously all of that. But yeah, like country. I mean like. Now, like, I mean, obviously a lot of older countries like that, but like, you know, I was like, I, I listened to, you know, Cody Johnson, Morgan Wall, and like, all the like, oh, Parker, yes. you know, and all that, but, um, I never got into music back then, though, because, like, like I said, I was from such a small town, no one knew music, did, like, the stuff, so it was just, like, a bunch of, like, Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, we're good, then we're good. <laughs> And, and like no one made music, so I was just like, just like I, I loved it, but I just didn't know how to do it. You know, and going out to LA and living there for a while and then being in the social space, it, it made me, uh, it made me meet a lot of awesome people in that space, songwriters, producers, yeah. stuff like that. And I got to get in there and like figure it out and start start working around. I love that. You mentioned songwriters. You've been writing with some really awesome people here in town, like Parker McCullen, Shane Moody. Like, tell us what that's like in the writing. <laughs> it's you know I. It's so crazy to like share the room with them because they're obviously like great. They're 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 such amazing and talented people. Um, Shay Mooney is one of the greatest vocals in my life. We got in. I always tell people we he he said to a session for like nine a.m. or something like that. I was like nine a.m. That's a little early to be singing. To be honest with you, I get in there. But yeah, so you're like I'm gonna do it. Of course, I get in there and and, uh, he's on the guitar and he starts singing. And I'm like at nine a.m. Nine a.m. Like like, sounds like Jesus Christ himself. Like what the heck? Um. But yeah, I mean, just uh, just like being able to like listen to them and follow them for so long, and then watch all the amazing things they've done, and be able to share the room with them. And, and, uh, you know, Parker was actually so nice. Like we ended up just writing a little bit at his at his house. Nothing ever like came of it. But you know, it was, it was still really cool. But he 
I came out here before the CMA Fest, and, and then I was only supposed to be here for two days, and I, I ended up meeting Shane and all that stuff to write. And I was like, all right, I'm going to stay here for a couple of days. I didn't have a hotel or clothes or anything like that. I was like, You're just like, I'll like, figure like, it out. Like, and Parker and Hallie were like, oh, you, you just come stay with us, like stay at our house, like da 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 And they were leaving the next day. And I was there for like a week. They were like, here's, here's, like, here's all the keys to all my car and make yourself at home. Better. And I was like, wow. what the heck? People are so nice in Nashville. That's why I love it. That's why I was like, I got to get It's out different here. than LA. It's, it's, it's a different vibe here, for sure. We're uncomparable in so many ways. Yeah. So with 30 million streams, okay, let's wrap our brains around that for a second. What are people in your hometown saying to you? Are you getting like the messages like so proud of you, like product. Texas? You know? Yeah, you know, it's, it's it definitely is. It to them, it is like like I said, like they don't understand it because like we come from such a small. It's big forever for me to even understand. So they're like, what do you do? Like, yeah, exactly. It's always like, and, and, uh, there's always like a funny question because everyone's like, how do I become famous as well? And I'm like, oh, genius. I don't. It's always just a hard question to answer because it's like, I don't know. Like it's just like everything like works different for everybody. First, be true but, to yourself. Just don't be chasing something. Be you. Yeah, you know, and I, I always tell people, too, they're always like, how do I become famous? I'm like, that's your role. You're already in the Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And, uh, but, you know, I it, they don't they don't understand it. And, and I don't talk to a lot of people, actually. You know, to have, like, a very, very small group that does, like, that's what I need some time with. Like, so, you know, I don't understand it. But other than that, you know, I, I left high school my freshman year. And, um, I, I didn't really look back since then, so I don't really talk to a whole lot of people. Yeah. Whenever I do, they are like, what's it like? Yeah. So, so. I love the random, like, support messages. Those go a long way, so people make sure you reach out. Follow Taylor, follow Taylor on all the socials. Yeah, Taylor Hall. Taylor Hall. Yeah, Taylor Hall. Yeah, Taylor Hall. Yeah, Taylor Hall. Yeah, Taylor Hall. 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 Oh, yeah. Uh, Brad, Brad? Oh, we don't Brad. have to put him on camera. Brad, he's all shy. They don't my, have to come on camera. My camera, but with me, Brad. There's Brad a backbone. I'm videographer. John, John Galbraith. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love it. Okay, some fun questions Let's I got go. for you. Favorite spot in Nashville to eat? Oh, Jack Brown's has such good burgers. Have you been there? Where you guys? Yeah, all right. Yeah. First song you ever sang on stage? Uh. Ever. Ever? Yeah. Oh. It was a long time ago, like one of my songs, like a long time ago. It was one of yours? It was like, it was okay. like old, old, like way back. I love it. Like, probably like six years ago. If you could collaborate with anyone, who would it be? Uh, this is Robin Fyke. Luke Combs. Luke Combs. Uh, who are, what are you looking forward to this year? Are we expecting a music video? Uh, I gotta ask. I gotta ask. I gotta, I, I have an EP drop this year. Woo! An EP. I love it. Yeah. I love it. This has been absolutely fabulous. We are here at CRS 2023. Day one, presented by Big Tail Whiskey here on the Backstage Pass. My name's Percy Krause. We got Brandon behind the scenes today and CJ Garden coming up. So uh, thank you guys. Feel free to share out these streams as we go live throughout the week. We have plenty more artists coming up. And make sure you follow Taylor Holder right now and listen to his latest single, Marry You. Acoustic version coming out in two weeks. Cheers, guys.